Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another week of Island Rhythmic Gymnastics um, online training for our recreational classes. Um, my name is Clara, um, hopefully some of you recognize me from class a few weeks ago or just back in the gym, um, which I definitely miss being at and missing all of you uh, there on a weekly basis. So I hope everyone's doing really well, um, keeping healthy, staying fit, staying active, um, having fun with your family and managing to find some things that uh, you do during the day that bring you joy and um, yeah, just enjoying your, your time off, I suppose. Um, for this week's class, um, we have a couple of things that we're going to focus on. So during our stretching, we're going to focus on splits. Um, there's a few things that you'll need for that, um, just to help you kind of work on squaring your hips and things like that. So, um, we'll touch base on those once we get into our stretches a little bit more. Um, I'll give you some time to run off and find those things that you'll need. Um, and after that, we will get into working on our turns, our pivots, um, and things like that. We're going to really focus on the preparation today. Um, so that's the first part of the turn, kind of before you start turning. So we're going to focus on, um, yeah, splits and turns today. Um, what else? Uh, not too much, actually, before we get into it. So we're going to start with some um, aerobic kind of cardio work uh, to start and um, yeah so we're going to do uh, 30 seconds of sorry 20 seconds of work and then 10 seconds of rest so this is kind of a Tabata style if there's any parents following along you're welcome to join in well um, as well really good for your aerobic capacity um, and things like that so we'll do a few different exercises but I've got my uh, phone timer here so I'm just going to set that up and then you can follow along um, with me before we get started. Actually I do want you to take a look around make sure that your surroundings are safe so you've got nothing breakable in your vicinity. Um, if you're on a carpet make sure there's no like rugs or mats things that you could trip on potentially. Um, yeah just stay safe because we don't want any uh, injuries while you're doing gymnastics. So let's get started here. Uh, the first exercise we're going to do is jumping jacks. So we're going to do 20 seconds of jumping jacks and then we're going to rest for 10 minutes just by kind of jogging on the spot. So I'm just going to tilt my camera down here so we can see a little bit. We'll get ready to go. All right, ready? Three, two, one, and jumping jacks. So we're going to be doing 20 seconds of jumping jacks. Good job, halfway there. Five more seconds. All right, and now we're just gonna kind of jog on the spot, making sure that we point our toes when they come off the ground. Ready for jumping jacks in one second, and go jumping jacks again. Good job. Good work. Uh, five more seconds of jumping jacks. Three, two, one, and we're gonna run on the spot again. We're gonna do that one more time. In three, two, one, and jumping jacks for 30 seconds. Good work. Five seconds, sorry, I think I said 30 seconds last time, but it's only 20. So we're gonna jog on the spot now. Next exercise we're gonna do is our froggy jumps. So that's all the way down to the ground and a big jump, ready, and down, up, and up. Good job, trying to bring your bum down to the ground. Good job. Five more seconds. Nice. You guys look like little froggies. Good job. So we're just running on the spot and then we're going to do again froggy jumps and froggy jumps. Two. Good 
Good job. Nice big rivet high jumps. All right. And running on the spot. We're gonna do that one more time. If you need to take a little break, have a little breather. That's fine, we're gonna get into it. Good job. All right, and running on the spot. Good job. Whew. I don't know about you guys, but my heart rate is up. I hope everyone's feeling nice and warm. If you want to run around a little bit more, absolutely do so. But we're going to start stretching. So let's start from the top of our body. So starting with the neck. Just going side to side, relaxing the shoulder on the opposite side. So trying not to come up, make sure it's nice and relaxed. Good job. And then you can do your shoulder, or sorry, neck rolls. So coming side to side, bringing the chin down to the chest. Good job. Now we're gonna do our big shoulder circles. So I want you to try and make the biggest circle that you can. So all the way up and back, and then come forward and up and back. Good job. And now we're gonna go forward shoulder circles. Good job. Trying to keep the elbows straight too, so we have a tendency to wanna to bend our elbows as we come up, so just try and keep them straight if you can. Good job. Now we're gonna go shoulders up to our ears, Whew. and relax. And shoulders up to the ears, and relax. And up, and relax, and up. And relax, good. We're gonna do our cross the body stretch. So bring your arm across, scoop under with the other one, and pull your arm close into your body, making sure that our bums are tight, tailbones are tucked under, and our belly buttons are pulled towards our spine. So you stay strong through your core. Good job, and now we'll go into the other side. So arm across the body, scoop on under. Good, and pull that arm across. Making sure that we're not turning the body, we're just pulling the arm in towards the body. Good job. And we're going to do our big arm circle, so take a look around, make sure there's nothing you're going to hit behind you or in front of you. And we're going to do 10 big ones. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And I want you to grab your hands and bring them up above your head and push them behind your shoulders if you can. So try not to arch your back. I want you to keep your back flat for this one and push your arms behind. Good job. And ready for our 10 arm circles forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Now clasp your fingers behind your back. If you like, you can just stay here pushing your chest forward and trying to raise your arms a little bit. If you like, if it's within your abilities and you know how, you can flip your arms over and start to bring your body down and use gravity to push your arms down towards the ground. So you can stay in that stretch for a little bit. For those of you who just wanna stay here, that's totally fine as well. Just do what's in your abilities. Good job. And now for our most favorite challenge, we're gonna go opposite ways. So starting with your arms above your head, I want one arm to go forward and one arm to go backwards. Just start super slow, thinking about each arm as they go. This one's pretty tricky for your brain sometimes. Once you kind of get the hang of it, you can start to go faster. Good job. If you lose it, just stop again and start up at the top and try and go slow. Good, if you've done one way, let's go the other way as well. So take a second if you need to think about it. It's kind of a bit of a jumble. 
Good job. All right, lovely. We're gonna get into stretching our hips and our trunk. So bring your legs a little bit apart, making sure that our belly buttons still stay pushed towards our spine. So tight through your abdominal muscles, your belly muscles right here. And then tucking your tailbone under, squeezing your bum cheeks. We're gonna come up and over. And a nice big stretch for our side body. Good. Trying to be really long as you can through this one. Good job. Lovely. And same thing to the other side. So reaching way up into the sky. Imagine you're drawing a rainbow if you like. So a big arch over. Good. So you should feel a nice big stretch all along here. Good job. And we're gonna go one more time to the other side. So we'll go up and over. Good. If you can, try and go a little bit farther than you did last time, just to really get a good stretch. Lovely. And all the way to the other side. Good job. All right, good job girls. And from here, we're gonna warm up our hips a little bit. So we're just gonna go side to side. Good job. And we're gonna do some hip circles. Good job. And the other way, you guys keep going. I'm just gonna redo my computer here. Good job. So hip circles the opposite way. Lovely, all right. We're gonna do what we call helicopter. So hands both come on the ground and then I want you to reach up and around with the other one. So try and bring your chest up towards the sky. Good, and you can switch. Give it a little stretch. And then we're gonna go 10 helicopters. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten good job all right to get into our hips a little bit more we're going to come down onto the floor so i'll bring you guys down here with me lovely so sitting on the ground we're going to bring the sole of our foot uh, up towards our knee pushing this knee down towards the ground as much as you can we're going to reach up tall and we're going to come forward Good job stretching, trying to keep our back as flat as possible. So notice I'm not hunched like a turtle back shell. I'm trying to keep flat as I can. Making sure both our toes are pointed. You can't see, but this toe down here needs to be pointed. Good job. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. And we're gonna switch to the other side. So flex this foot, bring it up towards your knee. Pushing this knee down towards the ground as far as you can. We're gonna reach up nice and tall and coming forward, keeping my back as flat as possible. So from here, just try and flatten out your back a little bit. Good job. Making sure your front toe is pointed down here, this one. Good job. I'm gonna hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, and now we're gonna do our butterflies. So bringing both the soles of your feet together, holding your feet if you like. You can flap your butterfly wings. Good job, many of you will likely be touching the ground and that's awesome. From here, I want you to reach forward as far as you can, bringing, if you can, your belly button all the way towards your feet and even your nose and you can smell your feet if you want. Maybe they smell stinky or maybe they smell clean. Good job. So reaching forward, bending as much as you can. Good job. All right, and from here, we're gonna bring our legs out in front of us and we're gonna reach up nice and tall and we're gonna fold forward as we bring our head towards our legs. Good job trying to stay in the position. I know this one is a pretty big stretch, but the longer you can stay, the better. 
if you like and it's not within your abilities to bring your nose to your shin, put your hands on your legs and just reach them out towards your toes as far as you can go. If you can reach your toes, that's awesome. If you can reach your shins, that's good too. Just as long as you feel a good stretch in the back of your legs, go as far as you can. Good job. If you need a little bit more of an intense stretch, I'll back up here so you can see, you can flex your feet and do the same one. So they'll feel a big stretch in the back of your legs and your calf muscles. That will intensify the stretch for you. So you can do pointed or you can do flex. Good job. All right, and since we're on the um, toes pointed idea, let's do our flex and point. So um, for some girls, if you wanna take a moment to stretch out your toes, you can do so by coming up and coming over your toes like so to really work on your point. You can hold, uh, if you want, just pause the video and hold for about 30 seconds each side uh, if you wanna work on your point. Um, you can also just push down on your toes and push them over if you like as well, or you can get a parent to help you. Just make sure you let them know when is good a good stretch for you. Uh, so take some time to stretch your toes if you like. Otherwise, we'll get into our flex and point. So sitting up nice and tall, knees straight, ankles together, most important. So making sure that we're not sitting pigeon toed like so. Ankles come together, sitting nice and tall, belly button towards your spine and arms out. Don't forget about your fingers all the way down at the end. And we're gonna go flex and point. Flex, point, flex, point, flex, and point. And again, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, and point. And now switching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll go ankle circle. So starting flex, we're going to go big circle out and around for two, three, four. Don't forget about your posture. Five, six, seven, knees straight, and eight. And now the other way. So we'll go out and up and around. Two fingers, don't forget. Nice posture. So sitting up nice and tall. Six, seven, last one, and eight. Lovely. Now we're gonna work on just the toe part. So this can get a little bit tricky, so I like to put my hands um, just on my ankles here so that my toes can wiggle around. And what I want you to work on is just flexing the toes up but keeping the ankle down. And then you're gonna point the toes. Flex the toes, point the toes, flex, point, flex and point. Now we're gonna bring the foot up, so flexing the foot. I want you to scrunch your little toes up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Give your legs a shake out. Give your feet a little massage if you need. That was lots of work, so good job. All right, good. We're going to come into our straddle position here. So opening up your legs as wide as you can. I want you sitting nice and tall and we're gonna do our side body stretch, but from a straddle position. So on this one, I want you to make sure that your bum doesn't come off the ground. See how I have a hole here? I got a little tunnel. I want you to make sure both of your bum cheeks are on the ground. Good job with straight knees too. So no little tunnels, nice and straight. Toes are pointed. Good, and from here, we're gonna put our hands on the ground and we're gonna walk them out in front all the way around to the other side. So reaching as far out as you can and then we're gonna stretch the other side. So making sure again that both of my bum cheeks are on the ground, my toes are pointed, my knees are straight and we're gonna walk to the other side. So coming out as far as you can, trying to lie your belly flat on the ground and stretching our side body. Good job. And coming front again. Good job, this will be the last stretch on this side. So holding nice and strong. 
Good job. All right, and from here, if you've lost it a little bit, scoot your hips a little bit more forward, and we're gonna come forward as far as we can. You can rest on your elbows if you like. If you wanna put your belly flat on the ground, that's fine. We're gonna sit in our straddle middle splits for about 20 seconds here, just to get a nice good stretch. I know this one's hard, but the longer you can stay in the stretch, the better. So do your best to stay the whole 20 seconds. We're almost there, just about halfway. Good job, feeling a nice stretch. All right, three, two, one, and good. Lovely job. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna come through middle splits and we're gonna go into our froggy position. So, oh, I'm running into my couch there. That's with your legs square, bent to the back. If you wanna bring them in a little bit more, that's fine, but make sure both legs are the same. I like to have mine here. So I'm staying nice and square with my legs. And I'll just turn to the side so you can see my hips as well. So making sure that my hips are not too far back like so and not too far forward either. So I'm right in a straight line and I try and push my hips down towards the ground. Good. And I find that really extra sore spot and then I stay there for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, you can come on out of that one. Um, I know we started on middle splits, but let's do our backs first. Um, and then we'll do our splits after. So when we do our backs, we usually like to start with our wrists. So hands just in front of you, making sure that your whole hand is on the ground. You're gonna rock forwards and backwards. Two, three, I'm gonna back a little bit. Four, good job, five, six, toes behind you are pointed, two, seven, and eight. Good job. We're gonna move our hands to the side. So facing either side, we're gonna rock back and forth. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now we turn our hands behind us. So making sure that our pinkies face uh, turn like inwards rather than this way. I want you to turn out. Good job. And keeping your whole hand on the floor. So notice that my wrists, um, or sorry, the palm of my hand is staying down. Rocking forwards and backwards, forwards, backwards, pardon me, backwards, forwards, backwards. Few more, two, three, and four. Good job. From here, we're gonna do our happy kitty and angry kitty. So we'll turn to the side so you guys can see this one. Most girls will know what this is. So on all fours, we're gonna do our happy kitty first. So bringing your belly down towards the ground and arching up. Notice that my feet behind me are pointed. Good job, looking up towards the sky. And we go into the angry kitty. So pushing your back up towards the ceiling. Good, and back the other way. Arch, nice. Good job. And our angry kitty. And we'll do one more of each, so another happy kitty. Good job. And our angry kitty, pushing your back as high as you can up towards the sky. Good job. All right, from here we're gonna get into our arches. So I just want you to straighten the legs behind you. And for the first one, um, as most of my girls might know, we're gonna keep our legs together. So instead of a part like this, I want you to keep your knees and your ankles together as best you can, pushing up and really trying to push your chest open and up towards the sky. If you wanna put your head back, go for it. And I want you to hold, hold, hold this one, really giving your back a good stretch. Good job. And from here, we're gonna come into 
If you like child's pose, you can do child's pose. If you prefer, feel free to do some rock and rolls as well. Whichever one you like to give your back a stretch in the opposite direction. So do a few of those. Good. We're gonna come back into our arch position. This one we're gonna do with our legs apart. So you might be able to arch a little bit farther on this one and that's awesome. I do want you to keep your legs straight. The next one we will do our donuts, so don't worry, we will practice those. But this one, keep your legs straight, really opening your chest as wide as you can and looking back if you like. Good job. Just staying here. Lovely. All right. And then coming back into either some rock and rolls or your child's pose, holding for about 10 seconds. Good job. And now is the one where you can bend your legs so you can do your donut. So when you're in your arch, bend your legs up, trying to reach uh, your head. So making that connection between your feet and your head. That is not within my abilities today, um, or I mean other days, but uh, just doing your best reaching towards your head. Um, if that one's easy for you, you can try and grab with opposite hand to opposite foot. So reaching back, trying to grab that foot and hold on, straightening out the leg to pull you into the arch. If you do one side, try and do the other side as well. So getting really into the arch, grabbing that foot. So here you would grab your foot and pull it. Um, if you're having troubles grabbing your foot, some other ideas that you can use, um, if you have a rope, you can put the rope around your foot. Um, I'll just grab a, maybe the dish towel, just to give you a little simulation. So if this was your rope, you could go like so, it would come around your foot and then you would hang on and pull back. So if that's something within your abilities, you can give that one a try. Um, if you can grab with your hands, that's awesome. Keep working on your back flexibility. Just make sure that you do come into uh, your child's pose. After each good stretch, just make sure you give your back some love in the other direction. So you can do those or your rock and rolls. But take the next little while, uh, just stretch out your back as best as, um, as best as you can, as best as you like, whichever ways that is for you. Um, if you want, pause the video, take some extra time to work on, work on your arches. What we're gonna get into now is our bridges. So I want everybody to do um, five bridges, holding at the top for five seconds. So we'll do that together, making sure we have a good setup first, watching out that there's nothing in your surroundings that you might bonk into. So just be careful, keeping your feet firm on the ground. Our hands come right beside our ears. So just beside our head like so. And then when we push up, we push up nice and strong, pushing our belly button towards the sky. So we use our big strong arm muscles and we're gonna hold for five seconds, keeping our feet flat on the ground. So I know people like to go up on their toes, but do keep your feet flat. Holding for three, two, one. Look towards your belly button and lower yourself down. Good job. Making sure that we definitely look towards our belly button before lowering down and we're not resting on the top of our head because that could hurt our neck. So just being careful. Do a couple of rock and rolls here. Good, and we're gonna go again for bridge. So feet set up, fingers and hands set up nice and firm. We push up strong into our bridge, holding for five seconds. Three, two, one. Look towards your belly button and come on down. Uh, if you're struggling with the bridge a little bit, you could ask um, your parent maybe to help by just supporting your back. So as you push up, they can put their arm under here and just kind of pull you up, help you get up into that bridge position. And then just looking at your belly button before you're ready to come back down and they just kind of lower you back down to the ground. So ask your mom or dad for a little bit of help if you need. But pushing up nice and strong. Good job. 
and come on down, looking at your belly button first. So that was three bridges. If you'd like to hold longer than five seconds, that's okay too. Uh, you could do your shoulder bridges, so girls will know that that's pushing your chest forwards a little bit. I'll demonstrate that one um, on this round. So this will be your shoulder bridge. So from here, pushing up nice and strong, and then we rock our chest forward by straightening our legs, getting into that long straight leg bridge, pushing into our shoulders. Good job. And then come on down. Good job, and we'll do one final bridge. All right, pushing up nice and strong, holding for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Give your back a little rock out. Um, for some of the more advanced girls, if you're watching, um, and it's within your abilities, you could do um, your wall walk downs. So that's the one, um, I'll just move the camera here. I do want to see a little bit. A bit hard on this one. Try this. So from here, uh, along the wall here, that's coming like so, putting your hands on the wall and walking yourself down into your bridge and then using your hands to help you walk back up keeping your arms by your head the whole time. Um, so yeah, for some older girls, you can practice those variations, um, making sure to use your belly muscles, so those strong abdominal muscles to pull you up, keeping your arms by your ears, and squeezing your bum as you come up. Uh, maybe put some pillows underneath as well, just in case uh, you fall, but please do use caution when you're doing that one. Make sure you've got lots of space. Um, ask a family member if you need a little bit of help as well. Just stay safe while you're practicing those. Um, cool, let's do our, um, well, we'll reserve, um, I was going to say chest stands, but we'll reserve the chest stands, um, for those girls, uh, if you want to just pause the video and work on your chest stands, um, that's the one where you roll forward onto your chest and your legs come up over your head. If you've done them before, um, have a practice. If you haven't done them before, um, let's wait until we're back in the gym and one of us coaches can help you. Uh, it's a really easy one to hurt your back on. So um, yeah, for some of the older girls, go ahead and do your chest stands. Uh, the other ones, we are going to get into our splits now. So um, for our splits, I really want to work on keeping the body up. So it's very easy. Uh, for girls, when you're stretching your splits, it's a hard movement. It doesn't feel that great. It's really easy to let the body come forward, especially if um, you're needing to use your hands as support. So I'm hoping we can find a way to keep the body up because this is what our split jumps are going to look like in the air. So um, what you can use is I want to bring something under your hands. Um, you could use things like cushions. So you could use those as a support for your hands. Uh, you could also use a large book. So I've got um, a big, thick book here. So you could put one of those on, uh, on either side. And this is what I'm going to use. So uh, maybe pause the video and take a second to go around. Um, you could also use two pots, maybe from the kitchen. Uh, just something to rest your hand on. If your mom or dad has yoga blocks, those also work really great. Um, like I said before, a stack of pillows. Just something that's going to be of even height on each side, so both at the same height, um, that you can use to do your splits. You don't even need them um, right away here, but do take a second and go find something that you're going to be able to use. We'll do our first stretches. So coming forward like so. I'm up on one knee, the other leg comes out in front of me, and I just bring my body down. Good job. Making sure that my back toe, I'll swivel here, this back toe behind me is nice and pointed, as is my front one. You can see that I'm not hunched through my back. Nice and straight back. Good job. And now we're gonna come forward into our second stretch. So making sure that our leg is at 
uh, 90 degrees to the floor. So I'm not too far forward and I'm not too far back. So standing nice and tall, you should feel a good stretch in the hip here. Good job holding for another 10 seconds. Good, nice. And from here, we're gonna straighten out the front leg again, and then we're gonna sit on our leg at the back. And we're gonna try and flatten our body down towards our legs, making sure that our back toe stays pointed, as does our front one. Knee straight in the front as well. So this one's straight, not bent, straighten it out. Good job. All right. We're ready to get into our splits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my books on either side of me and I'm gonna use those as a rest for my hands. So I come up, I'm ready to go into my splits and then as I come down, I'm using these books as a support and my hips line up with the books. So my hips are here, that's right in line with the books like so. So holding yourself up if you're not quite down in splits, that's okay. I want you to really square your hips. And by squaring your hips, I mean that both of your hip bones are facing forward. So if you had headlights on the front of your hips, are they gonna be facing to the side like so? We want them to instead face forward. So bring those hips square. If that means that you're up here, that's totally okay. I'd rather you stretch in a good split position. And notice here I can keep my body up as well. So instead of hunching forward, we're gonna try and stay up nice and tall. Good job. So we're gonna hold splits for another three seconds, two, one, and we're done. Coming out of that one, good. We're gonna do our first stretches again. So on the other leg, bringing one leg out in front, we're keeping our weight on our back leg mostly, just coming forwards. Good job, keeping both toes pointed. Holding for another five, four, three, two, and one. And then I bring my weight forward onto my front leg making sure that my back toes stay pointed. I can put my hands uh, on my legs like so, or I can keep them on the ground if I want. Whichever one feels good to you, you'll feel a big stretch in the front of the hip there. Good job. All right, and we're gonna come into our other stretch. So weight comes back and I'm sitting on my back leg. My front leg is straight and I bring my body down. Just gonna move this foot all the way. Good, watching your toes, making sure that they're both pointed. So leg is straight in front of me. So if your knee is bent, make sure you straighten it. Pointing your toes. Holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely, and we're ready for splits on this side. So set up your equipment, whether it's pillows, pots, books, whatever you've found, and square up your hips now. So imagine you have headlights on the front of your hips and they're gonna face forward. So if they start to turn, make sure you bring them back. So as I come down into my splits, I'm staying square, staying square, staying square, and here's where I start to go a little bit crooked, so I'm just gonna stay here for today. We're gonna hold for 10 seconds. You guys can do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and you're done. Good, come on out of those splits. Good job. Give your legs a good little shake. Awesome stretching, guys. We're gonna do splits again for um, about 10, maybe 15 seconds on each leg, just because I said it was gonna be the focus, and um, splits are always an area of improvement that you can keep working on. So give your legs a good little rest here, and then we're gonna get into our splits again. Lovely, so whichever leg you'd like to start with, 
Make sure you're ready, setting up with the square hips from the beginning, hands on your books, and sliding down into the splits, keeping your hips square, trying to keep your chest up. Good job. You can do it. Pick one position and try and stay in that one, so no moving around. You're almost there. Three, two, one, and you can come out of those splits. Good job. We're gonna get ready for the other leg. So really important, girls. I know it's a hard movement and it's a pretty big stretch, um, but do try and stay, stay in the stretch. So try not to come out and go back in and come out and go back in. Stay as long as you can in one position. So coming forward, ready for the other leg. Holding my body up. Good job. Square those hips up. Pushing up at the body. Good job. Pay attention to your toes and your knees. If they're bent, try to straighten them. Point the toes. Three, two, one. And come on out of that one. Good job, guys. Um, if you like to work on your splits a little bit more, feel free to do those um, a few more times if you like. Really working on trying to sink your hips lower to the ground while keeping them square and your body up. So use your books or whatever you're using um, and do a couple more stretches if you like. All right. If not, um, move your things out of the way just so they are not a tripping hazard. I'm gonna put these up on the counter here. All right. So, for the last little bit, where's my face? There we are. For the last little bit of class here, we're gonna work on our turns. Um, I said we're gonna work on the preparation, so we'll go over some of that stuff and then we'll get into some simple turns. Uh, in the next few weeks, we're gonna be working on some more complex positions of the turns, so we'll just start out nice and simple. Um, so hopefully you guys will be able to follow along no problem and we'll work up to those complex ones in a few weeks. So what I want to talk about first is the preparation for the turn. Uh, many girls will know this position, I hope. So let's do it together. The preparation, as many of you will remember, comes out with the foot and my hands are in front here and then one arm opens to the side. All right, so a few points that I wanna talk about first um, is the front leg. So we wanna make sure that the front leg comes out and then all of our weight comes into that front leg. So you can see that if I wanted to, I could lift my back leg off the ground, no problem, and I'm holding that weight in my front leg. So when it comes out in front, we turn it out and we turn out this front leg. See how I'm not turned in like so? I want you to turn the leg out and put your weight into the front leg. Good job. So we're just gonna do a few of those. So arms come out, and then one opens to the side, and watch that front leg, make sure it's turned out, and you've got good weight in there. Lovely. And come back. We're gonna do two more times. Out in front and turn out the leg, good job, lovely. And last time, putting the weight into that front leg turned out, good job. All right, next thing I wanna focus on um, is the arms. So arms come here, and this one stays at just about chest height. So notice how it's not super low, it's not super high, it's just somewhere right in the middle at about my chest. And the other one comes out to the side, just like so. So right in line with my body. So it's not too far back, and it's not forward with my other arm. It's right out to the side. So as we come out, our arms come up, and then our one comes to the side, just like so. So I want you to really practice this movement here. So from your chest, the arm opens up just to the side and my shoulder stays square. So notice that I don't turn my body, just stays square like so. So it's just your arm that's moving. So you can practice that one so you know where it goes and like so. Lovely, good job. All right, 
Before we get into our passe turns, our passe position is this one, a reminder for all of you girls, just in case you forgot. So we know that our foot here has to come right up to our knee, so it's touching here. So it's not flippy flopping around out here. Make sure you've got a nice strong connection there. And our back stays, uh, sorry, our belly button stays towards our spine and our tailbone tucked under. So we're not coming too far forward like so or falling backwards. We want to stay nice and strong in our passe balance. So we're going to practice a few passe balances first from our preparation position. From here, we're going to come up and out, open like you guys know into a good preparation position. And then we're going to come into passe balance for one, two, three, and our gymnastics finish. Let me see if I can get a little bit better camera angle maybe. So you guys can see all of me. There we go, that's a little bit better. So from here, coming forward, we know our good preparation. So arm at my chest, to the side, and we're gonna come into passe balance on flat foot for one, two, three, and finish. Lovely. We're gonna do that a few more times. So from here, preparation, arms come up to my chest tight, one opens up, I put my weight in my front leg, and I come up, I go one, whoop, two, three, and finish on tippy toes with my nice gymnastics finish. Good job. Uh, once you feel comfortable with that one, if you need a few more times just to kind of find your balance, take that time to do so. We're gonna practice going on our tippy toes now. So from here, we're gonna come out into our preparation position, coming down, and then here when we come up, we're gonna go on tippy toes, two, three, and finish. So I was a bit wobbly on that one. We're gonna try and have no wobble. So staying nice and strong in your bottom leg, pulling up through your rib cage, open, and when you're ready, you go up for one, two, three, and gymnastics finish. Good job. We're gonna do that a few more times. So holding, good preparation. From here, we come up, holding one, two, three, and finish. Lovely. We're gonna go one more time. So coming up with our good, strong preparation. You guys know, turn out your leg, arm to the side, and find your balance. Up, one, two, three, and finish. Lovely. All right, now we are going to practice the same thing on the other leg. So this time I was bringing my right leg up. This time I'm gonna bring my left leg up because it's important to practice both sides. So with my preparation, now my leg is gonna come out and now this opposite arm is the one gonna be coming to the side. So I'm practicing my preparation, putting my weight in my bottom foot, front leg, and coming back. Good job. So arms come out and the opposite arm comes to the side. Don't forget we're at chest height, so we're not too high, too low. We're just at that perfect, level. Good. From here, putting the weight into the front leg. Make sure this one's turned out. So instead of this way, we want to turn it out. Good job. And coming forward again. Good. Good. And then we practice our arms. So making sure that from here, our arm opens just to the side. And you show me where it goes. Good job, and one more time to the side, just so we know exactly what's right. Perfect, coming back. So we're gonna come into our passe position now, and we're gonna hold on flat foot for three seconds. So ready all together, arms and leg come out. We put our weight into our front one, and we come up, holding for one, two, three, and our gymnastics finish. Job. We're going to do that again. So arms and legs come out, open up, 
And then we go one, two, three, and finish. Two more times. So leg comes out, open up, and stay nice and strong, trying not to wobble, holding straight bottom leg. Good job. And on this one, I really want you to make sure that this bottom knee stays straight and that our foot is in good contact with our knee here. So Angela likes to say that you zip her up and you zip her down so it never comes apart. So from here, we're gonna come out, preparation, and then we're gonna come zipper, 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 zipper. Sorry, arms can be up above the head, making sure that we're in good contact here. So hold the leg and our gymnastics finish. Good job. Now we're gonna do four times coming up onto our tippy toes, so holding nice and strong in the bottom ankle. Ready, up, and open. And when you're ready, coming onto toes for one, two, three, and finish. Good job, lovely. And ready, here we go. Holding strong, one, two, three, and our nice gymnastics finish. Good, halfway there, so two more out. Open, the weight comes into the front leg, it's turned out. Arms up, and holding strong, and finish. Good job, this is our last time. Open, arms, and up. Two, three, and finish. Lovely. All right, I think we're ready for our turns now. Um, please be careful if you're on carpet. Uh, feel free to use socks if it's easier for you to turn. If you're on, I'm on concrete, so my socks, they're not super slippery on here. If you're on hardwood floor, I might suggest doing bare feet. Socks can get pretty slippery, so I don't want you to trip, uh, slip and fall, I guess, not trip and fall. Um, just be careful of what surface you're turning on and make sure that you've got some good control. So if you're spinning like crazy, maybe think about um, changing up what you've got on your feet. So we'll start with our passe turn. I wanna do just a single turn with a nice, steady finish. So you can choose whichever leg you'd like to start on. I'm gonna start with my right leg, so my right leg being the one coming up. So from here, I do my proper preparation. And from here, notice that I don't turn my shoulders to the side. I keep them facing forward. As I go into my turn, I come up and I finish. Lovely job. If you can do a little bit more than one turn, that's awesome. So coming up with our good preparation, and we go turn, and we finish. So that one probably wasn't my best. I was a little bit shaky on my, on my uh, finish, so we wanna have a nice, tight finish on toes. So let's work on that one this time. So we're gonna aim for a good finish. There, that one felt a little bit better, still a little bit off, so maybe it's just not my day. Hopefully you guys are doing better. From here, coming up with our preparation, coming up, and finish. There we go, that was a little bit better. So notice how I had a good control of my body. I wasn't flying all over the place. See if you can stay strong. Let's do a few more together. And finish. Lovely, so most important part is the finish. Making sure that that leg is still in contact so it's not flying around out here in outer space. You've gotta keep it in contact. So let's do a few more together. Holding, whoop, all right. And girls, feel free to do as many as you like. Good. So that was, how many was that? About six together. Um, if you wanna practice more, go for it. Just pause the video, uh, make sure you do the other leg. We'll do the other leg now together. Um, and then, yeah, feel free to practice as many as you like. There's no such thing as too much practice. So really focusing on quality that I want to see a good finish and a good passe position. All right. So let's move on to the other side now. This could be uh, interesting. From here, coming out, ready to work on the other leg. So pulling up into our turn and finish. 
So this one might be kind of tricky because it's hard to turn on your other leg, but just do the best that you can. Pulling up and finish. Good job. So that was two. Good. Focus on our good preparation. Remember not to turn the shoulders. So we're keeping our shoulders facing forward so I can see all of your lovely faces. From here, pulling up and finish. Good job. Coming up together. Open and whoop. Finish. Good job. So as you can see, sometimes we make mistakes, but we still just try, try again. So doing your best on every single one. And that's okay if you fall. Just try again. Good job. So let's do one more together. Good. Shoulders staying forwards here. And a nice tight finish. Lovely. So as I said, uh, girls, if you want to keep practicing, uh, please do so. Um, we're going to move on to another position for our turn. Um, just for the sake of time, uh, I will move through it a little bit faster. So I'll show you the position. I do want you to do the same progressions as before. So how we went from preparation and we started on flat foot. So this is going to be the position we're doing. I'm calling it uh, low L, um, I guess. So sometimes you see girls turning like so. I want you to do it just down here. So I want you to do some on your flat foot and then some on your releve and then we'll get into the turn. So I'll do a few together uh, and then I'll leave you up to your own devices. So with our position, so from here we go into our preparation, noticing my arm, making sure my shoulders don't turn, same good preparation you've been doing this whole time. And then leg comes just out in front of us like so. Turn to the side so you can see. So it's just about here. And I'm making sure that I'm not lifting with my bum. I come with a strong leg out in front of me. So let's do a few more together. So preparation and balance. Whoop. Balance in front. Lovely. And finish. Almost forgot about my finish. All right, and we're gonna come out. Preparation and solid balance. Good job, and our finish. From here, we're gonna do a few on toes. So coming out, open up, and on tippy toes balance, and finish. Good job, we'll do one more together. And pulling up and finish. Good job. So if you like, um, if you need some more time to do a few more um, practices, either on flat foot or on your tippy toes, please take the time to do so. But we're gonna get into our turns here. So from here, we come out, open up into our preparation, and we do a little turn in front and finish. Good job holding that leg nice and strong in front. Opening up and turn and finish. Lovely. And coming here, open up and turn, finish. Good job. So take some time, do maybe like 10 total if you like. Um, really focusing on keeping that leg strong and a nice good finish at the end. Um, also, you can go into the other leg, so we'll just do a few together on the other side. Practice as many times as you like. Opening up, coming into that flat foot position, and finish. And then the next rendition we'll do is from here, you know we're going to go on tippy toes. So holding, whoop, on tippy toes, and finish. That one wasn't the greatest for me, so I'm going to do that one again. From here, opening up and coming on two toes. All right, Whew, my balance is a little bit off today. 
That's all right, we're gonna try our turn anyways. So if you need, take some time and do some more balances. If you're like me falling all over the place, try and stay nice and strong. Do your good balances first. And then we'll get into the turn. Good job. And from here, coming out and open. Good job. So take some time. Um, and as I said, do about 10 repetitions on each side, uh, focusing on position and finish as well. Um, yeah, just doing as many as you girls like to do. Uh, cool. Um, we're going to do one more position and then we will be finished. So it's the same kind of idea as the one we just did out in front, but now it's to the back. So we're just going to come out a little bit like so. Noticing how my body stays up, so I'm not coming too far forward, and I'm also not arching back either, because that one makes it really hard to balance. So from here, my leg is just coming back, like so. So from our preparation, I'll stand this way so you can see. From here, we come forward, and we come up into low leg at the back. Good job. We're gonna do one more like that together, and come up. Holding strong, lovely. Now we'll go into our releve position. Do more of those ones if you like, but we'll go on toes and finish. Good job. And coming out, open, remembering our good preparation and holding strong and finish. Um, and we'll do the other leg as well. So take some time to do both sides. We're gonna do our turn on this side first though. So opening up and coming here and we go turn and finish. Good job, we'll do another one. Open up and finish. We'll do one more together and good preparation. Notice my shoulders aren't turning. Remember that they stay facing forward and coming up and finish. Good job. So uh, just for the interest of time, because we're just at about an hour here, um, please practice both sides, doing your balances on flat foot and then on toes to really find that center. And then you can work on the turns after that. Um, so just a reminder, we did our passe position on both legs. We did our front low L position on both legs and we did our low arabesque position on both legs. So those are the three positions that I gave you guys. Um, if you like when you're practicing your turns, feel free to get creative and think of any other uh, cool turn positions that you might want to do. Um, if you've been watching some gymnastics routine, maybe give uh, give some of them a try if they're within your abilities, um, or just make something cool up, whatever you'd like to do. Um, lovely. So I hope everyone enjoyed class today. If you have any questions, do get in contact, um, either by emailing Danielle or Angela, uh, and then they, we can get in contact from there. Wonderful. So have a wonderful day, everybody, and we'll see you again soon.